we can test these guys, the two Euro fighters. Look at them. So yeah, Eve hasn't been in a pro drift car since St. Louis last year. So he's a little bit rusty. But that's why we're here. We're here to shake off the cobwebs, get three solid test days. We're going to be at Willow Springs for two days, and then we're going to Irwindale for the last day uh, to shake the cobwebs off these guys. They're in all the way from Switzerland. We prepped the cars. They should be ready. We just got to get these guys comfortable. So. Look at that. Look at Josh. Josh still knows how what he's doing, huh? He looks all right. <laughs> he didn't die. He didn't die. <laughs> yeah, but that's the whole objective is to get these guys comfortable, uh, make some changes to the car. We are testing out some new front shock valving, some spring rates, and some alignment changes and tire pressure changes. <laughs> That looks better, look at that. Only took him two laps to get warmed up and used to it. So, let's do it, let's have a good day. All right! Oh, you all right? Oh, Eat bread, dude! <laughs> <laughs> all right! You're getting there, you're getting there. Definitely, definitely forget how to feel a real car. Yeah, exactly. It's been a while for him, it's been a while. Nice, looking good. Yep, tires broke. Josh, you might have another couple laps on yours. So he was just talking about his steering wheel was uh, getting shaken out of his hands through here. And that balcony, as you come across here, it is really bumpy. So we're gonna make a shock change. I put a, li a little bit of low speed compression and I'm gonna take some rebound out. See if it was packing because the wheel might be coming up and staying up instead of being able to drop out and use it. So went up to the compression and gonna back some rebound out and try. Got it. With rebound, you got to see which way to go. He's going to need more or less. I feel like it's packing though, so we'll see. All right, talk to me. What's going on? No, just talk. Just talk so that you can express what happened. Because what you need to do, what you need to do right now is just tell me what happened. Not you drove. You drove. Yeah. Tell me what happened so that we can figure it out together. You know, the thing is, uh, if I if I don't have wheel spin on these days, yeah, I can't get the angle. So. Okay. And but why can't you get the angle? Is it a problem with the front or the rear's not the stepping out? The rear's not stepping out. The rear's not stepping so out. I need spinning wheels on initiation, then it's fine. Okay. So. And do you feel like? Because you got to remember balance, right? So we always talk about is balance. Now, are you fainting and then the car is not coming out or you don't feel like you're able to faint? So you, even though you're fainting, the rear won't step out. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right. So that's kind of the nature of this course too, is that you need, I always spin tire and huck it in too. So I'll, I'll kick the clutch, I'll not kick it. I'll slip the clutch to get wheel spin this way and then yeah, throw it that way. Yeah. So do you want to make a change to the car? Because what I would do right now is probably stiffen up the back to get it to spin tires a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna stiffen up the back. Okay, let's go up four I'll clicks. The pressure a little bit lower that yeah, time. yeah, but but still, let's go up four. The In the compression, yeah. Low speed. Low. Yeah. Oh no, it's only two way, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna go make a change here. Four clicks. Josh, any changes? No, I'm good. Yeah, Josh is over there just hey. killing it, dude. <laughs> Josh is like, no changes. Leave Let the car. Leave <laughs> my flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll do up four uh, because what he was complaining about is getting the rear to step out. It didn't want to step out. He has to spin the tires to get it to step out. And yeah, that's not the best feeling. You want to be able to do both, right? You want to be able to spin the tires and throw it or not. All right, they're going back out. Uh, just tires. Didn't make any more changes since the suspension changes on their car. Uh, I guess I missed it, but they bumped into each other a little bit. <laughs> guys. Uh, yeah, they're out here warming up. Yes. So yeah, that's how this track needs to be ran. You initiate big and snappy, get close to that inner clip cone, run it wide, 
Look like you're gonna fly off track, but pick up the throttle and not fly off track. Did you see on that he didn't commit? He transitioned the car and hesitated. That was dangerous. Got to transition the car, full commit, pick up the throttle. Josh is doing good on the pace. He's just uh, transitioning inside. You see that when he transitions, he pops through the smoke on this side. It's scary, but you have to commit and transition behind them and wait till you get through the smoke before you can commit here. It's difficult, but it's what needs to happen. <laughs> When Josh popped through the smoke, he was wider than Eve and wider in the outer zone here. That was good stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm about to drive Eve's car. I was just talking to him for a second and he was kind of saying that he felt the car was not quite snappy enough on initiation, but then at deep angle, the car wants to fall to angle. So I'm glad he said that because it's hard for people to describe the car falling to angle. And honestly, it's a huge problem with just drift cars in general. Like it happens and then it comes down to like how much camber you have, how much caster you have, what kind of Ackerman you have. So I haven't put a whole lot of effort into figuring these things out because they just been driving, right? And I just maintain the cars and prep them and do whatever they ask me to do. So it's good that I'm finally kind of getting that out of him now because then he knows that it's time for a change because as you guys know I'm big on like make a change try make a change try these guys are a little bit uh, more timid they, they, they want to drive they want to get used to the car but what I try to remind people is that like hey you guys are good drivers that's why you're here let's get the car used to you so I'm gonna go out and see how she feels <laughs> right here he pulled the handbrake to extend in here when I get here I flip 
flick it to more angle, let the car flow, and I don't touch the handbrake until I'm like way back here. It's a little bit different in a way of how to maximize speed because you're not on the handbrake, you're still on the throttle, but it makes it difficult to decel right there. Like I dropped a tire there one time too, just part of the deal when you're really pushing it and flicking it hard here. So it's a, it's a learning experience, but I hope the shock change he likes. So again, we went softer in the rear and stiffer in the front. And then for him, I just lowered the front tire pressure like four pounds as well. Get him a little bit more bite. Okay, so what I just had E, what I was just talking with him, he likes the changes very much, but uh, I want him to practice just the initiation before he melts the tires off the car. Here at this track, you do one big strip, one first corner, tires are melted off, the car never handles the same. So I want him to practice not spinning too much tire on run up, big aggressive initiation, shut it down. That's what I told him, let's see if he listens. There we go. He's starting to turn it up now. I like it, I like it. All right, look, first gear roll out, second gear, get into third, power down, slightly spin the tires, chuck it. Nice. So he tapped the front brake at the same time he pulled the handbrake and that's what got the car super sideways. However, it was a little bit too much rotation. You see where it put him, it was on the inside. The right way to do it is enter wide, run it wide for the first third of the corner, middle, second third of the corner, start bringing it in, and then be close in at this part of the corner so that you can push out wide. But look how much snappier he is now. talking about right there that's a man driving I like it and he didn't drag the handbrake here for like a hundred feet he flicked it he didn't handbrake until way right there clutch kick dump out of it and had a snappy transition there that's what he's supposed to do nice <laughs> <laughs> a little too much pepper on that one. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Now we're starting to get spun. Yep. <laughs> so you're snapping fully 90. Uh, fully 90. Too much. But it's what you needed to do, right? Now you can dial in. Okay, it doesn't mean need, need to be 90, it needs to be 80. Then yeah. that way you can kind of carry a wider line all the way through. But, I mean, that was better. That's what you should have been doing over at Balcony. So you're yep. finally getting yep. it. Yep. Very Thank good. Very much, absolutely, Thank absolutely. You. So, do you like the changes to the car? Yeah, definitely. Good. good. So you did the right thing on the front. Awesome. I the front feels more responsive now, right? Yeah. Yep. More responsive. Yep. And uh, also, the shaking is way better now as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't bouncing. Yeah. yeah, there was just too much rebound put into it, so it was packing, like what yeah. we talked about. Like, so we backed out the rebound, got way better. Yep. Did you left foot brake here in the first corner? I left foot brake the first part of it to keep my line from going too shallow. And then and release and go yep, outside. Yep, exactly, exactly. And that, this part was also a bit better. Right. When it came to the outside. I saw that, I was gonna tell you. You didn't pull the handbrake at all. I did? Yeah, yeah, I saw. You went, rode it out, chucked the car, yeah. and then I didn't even hear the handbrake or see the handbrake. At the end, yep. I gave him a slightly clutch massage yep. to get the RPM back because yep. it was still in third. Right, oh, you left it in yeah. third. Yeah, see, normally, and what you need to remember too is when you give it that little extra hit, that gives you time to do whatever you want. To downshift. Downshift, left foot brake, pick up the throttle, yeah. right? It yeah. buys you time. Because when you're on the handbrake, you can't do anything yeah. but be on the handbrake. Yeah. But when you throw it, it loosens yeah. up the car so yeah. you can do whatever you want. This was the best tip. Yeah. You threw it. <laughs> you threw it. In. You throw it you at the end of the corner yeah. because normally you don't use your, your head. Will not do that. Right, your head tells you pull the handbrake. Yeah. Yep. Pull the brake, brake. Brake, yeah. Yeah, no, keep your foot down and throw it. Nice. I think this was also a big problem at the Seattle uh, on the infield. Right. Like, you came from the back to the, to the right. Yeah. I was always pulling the e brake and holding the handbrake. Right? But, yeah, but if you throw it like this, you go to the inside of the map. Right. Yeah, you throw it first and then you figure out what to do. Yeah. Oh, do I need to slow Maybe down? Do I need handbrake? Correction. Right. Correction. Yeah, and at that point, you're, you're massaging the handbrake, right? You're not pulling it. I pulled it. Right. Before. For 10 meters. Yeah. <laughs> Just like this. It's yeah. same as right here. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. No, good job. Very good.
Josh is out here now. Uh, he's doing the, kind of the same thing, the initiation practice, and then both directions, and then he's gonna go out and hopefully lay down some laps. And I kind of talked to him about the same things, but honestly, he didn't have the same bad habits that he was having. And again, this is just because he hasn't been in the car in, since St. Louis 2020. So wow, it's like nine months. say is that his initiation was a little bit lazier than it could have been and it could be a little bit more snappy but I like it at the same time because compared to Eve because he was able to run the car a little bit wider and carry more more momentum basically if that was a tandem battle Josh was leading and Eve did his initiation Josh would pull away from him so that's uh, that's you know the trade-off exciting and aggressive slightly slower <laughs> Watch it, boom, throws it in. Doesn't just yank the handbrake. And watch the snappy transition, nice! Oh, no handbrake transition. That was a no handbrake transition, I like it. I like that snappiness. Yeah. That was good, shit, right. dude. Very good. Shit. Super fun. I really like that back corner. You did no handbrake coming in, and then you did no handbrake transition, no. which is hard because even I handbrake in your two cars. Yeah. I saw that. The only handbrake you used the whole lap was quick on the entry, and it wasn't a hold. It was just really quick. Very good. It's a typical uh, just calm for yourself e-brake. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, it's a it mental thing. You, you don't need you it. You don't need it. You exactly. could unscrew <laughs> the, the handbrake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like the so, second last lap, the infield, like you told me. Yeah, yeah, very good. I mean, good. last, like very last lap, lap very fluid. Fluid. Tires were done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, only but, get the two, two laps. Yeah. That's it. The one thing I will say, there needs to be a middle ground because we, you know how your initiation was. I'm sure you watched his, yeah. right? Yeah. That's like, I'm not going to say too much angle, but too much angle too quickly right yeah. so what you need to do and then yours was really good but maybe it could be like 10 percent more angle 10 yeah, yeah, percent yeah. less right because then i was saying to the camera in a tandem battle if you did your initiation behind him he'd pull away from you yeah. but if you did that behind him you'd run into him exactly yeah, yeah. you got yeah, it sure. exactly so there needs to be a middle ground i know you were doing that because you need to like get some balls yeah. But uh, just so you know, you saw what he looked like. I have a video for you so that you can watch it. Just something right in the middle for a corner like this. It'll enable you to carry more speed around the outside of the corner, which will set you up even better for the infield. Yep. Nice job, boys. Heck yeah. So we got one more set of tires as soon as it comes back. I think we should put them on. You guys do a little tandem. Perfect. They're doing what I said. I ran over to him. I said, you guys need to practice the entry. Because could you imagine if that was a whole run? It would be over already. Tires. Tires done, right. Pra they need to practice the entry so they can get comfortable initiating on each other's doors. Because right now, they're not. They're, they're killing single runs, but they're not comfortable. 500 feet from each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They need to get... What do they call that? Not a tandem. <laughs> no. What they, what, what, when you lose because you didn't... Oh, inactive chase? Yeah. <laughs> Nah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. That could actually turn out to something. So, good job, boys. They're getting it. They're getting warmed up. That was good. Josh positioned himself very well, and Eve actually had a pretty good entry, but they're both flicking like way too much. They're drifting basically the opposite direction. I want them to just go in and just <clears throat> toss the car. Look at all these tires. Did you get mounted oh. for tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Boom. Dead everything. All right, we're loading up. Loading up the SUV, and then we have one more pair for these guys to go out, because we do have to conserve tire, tires, because we have tomorrow here at Willow, and then uh, the next day at, Irwindale. So, let's load up some tires, 
and finish off the day good. What up everybody? This is day two of testing at Willow Springs. We are now back at Balcony. Uh, they were doing some concrete or gardening or I don't know what they were doing. Look, maybe they're organizing the dirt here in the death zone. We yeah, have the boys are out there. They're doing some tandem practice. They're practicing their drag race starts. Look, they just, one of them just blew it. <laughs> uh, I told them, practice your drag race starts because battles are literally won or lost with the drag race. No doubt, no joke, that's just how it is. If you get smoked off the line, you're gonna lose, more than likely. So, it's important that they practice. So right now they're just out there practicing their drag races and then hopefully, once they've done, I asked them to do it about six times, after they do that, then they'll start tandeming. And hopefully we'll get some good footage. Let's see. Yeah, they did, look, they like fixed all the dirt and sand trap here. better and you, you what you got stuck you buried her parking it wow you're like a real dirt bike boy <laughs> how's that hog treating you dude i made it up the hill no problem yeah how, how did you not make it up the hill he didn't hit it with speed hey no speed. I did second gear, full throttle. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta hit her wide. Ah. You gotta hit her wide. Nice, dude. I wanted nice. to drive more, but yeah. without smoking tires. Yeah, that's good. I want to stop here. Stop here. Start because over. the entry, the transition, and the outer zone is it's the hardest part. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, right here, anybody could do it, right? Obviously. But that killed the last. Look at, look at, look at, look at him. Hey, put your foot on the rear brake, BBR. Who? 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 <laughs> 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 Who? Oh, today is a beautiful day out. God, the weather's great. Check it out. Ooh, dove too early, but now it's solid. <laughs> You see Eve transition shallow, yes. but he was able to I slide like, back. What I like about not roasting the tires is they can do repetitive run after run right. after run. Otherwise, they're doing three laps. Three laps, get out, take your helmet off, talk. It's not good. Go, give it throttle, dude! Give it throttle, dude! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, boys, keep throttle. Are you right, you know? No. Nice boys, <laughs> all black. At red line, right, right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Dude, Josh is out here walking around puffing his chest, dude. Sup, sup, sup! Hey, looking freaking awesome, dude. Looking awesome. Smoke, dude. Hey, I like that a lot. You guys got a ton of laps. Way better than just burning it for three laps, you know? Yep. That was great. That's the chase one, guys. Yes, yeah. very good. Dude, the last like four of your chases were good. Honestly, very, very good. I really like, like Eve, I do this too. Eve like transitions behind you and winds up shallower than yep. you, right? Which is a bad habit, yep. but I do it all the time too, transition shallow. You are nuts and you transition wider than he does, you're in the zone more than he does and you're transitioning before him. That's like properly good shit. Properly good, yes. Ah oh, yeah, somebody's awake now. I like it. 
Oh man, look at this. It's all of Willow Springs up here. Yeah, boys, look at us. Took the dirt bikes to the top of the hill. Well, not the top. That's the top, but we're pretty high up here. I love I love pit bikes, dude. Oh, I love pit bikes. And look, the boys are out. Look, we can barely see from up here. So we told them this time they're going to run a little bit of a different layout, simulating Atlanta. Perfect from up here. They're going to start by the greenhouse, going to go around, start drifting, transition up, and then use that little cutout as a keyhole, just like we would at Atlanta. So swing it up, make the stretch into the keyhole, and back down that way. Should be good. It's a long, long stretch, so they're probably going to struggle just to make the link, so happy. So yeah, we're trying to replicate Atlanta. I think I already said that uh, when I was up there. Yeah, that's where we were. Top of that hill up there. Yeehaw! <sighs> Let's see. Is he gonna make it? Nice. Through the keyhole. <laughs> nice. All right, the end of a very productive day. Made some changes. Uh, I'm proud of this guy. He realized that he had the wrong gear in his car. It only took him a day and a half to realize it, but he did realize it, so I'm proud of him. Good job, good driving. You're very impressive. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good job, Josh. Literally killed it since yesterday, so looking even better. Now we're going to clean up. Um, we're waiting for some tires to get done, and then we're going to head out to Irwindale. Ooh, that reminds me, I gotta book a hotel, because Irwindale tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are here at Irwindale Speedway. Check it out. Ripper, uh, you gonna take that thing for a lap today? Oh, dude, I'm taking that home. It's already on the trailer. It matches the boat perfectly. That is my new arrive and ride in the boat vehicle. So, the boat's gonna be in the water. In the water. Waiting, waiting for you. I'm you're gonna you're gonna leave your house in Newark in that car. <laughs> How many gears does that thing have? Alright, 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 alright. And I'll be at like 8,500 R's. On the freeway? R's. R's just <laughs> going, dude. <laughs> All the way to the Delta. To the Delta, Discovery Bay. You're gonna fly up to the launch ramp, park that like a d blocking half the launch ramp, hop in the boat, go. Alright. Hey, we gotta change the name. I like that the thing. Side, though. We gotta yeah. That thing's sick. Brian Ripper Creech. That thing just. Holy uh -huh. Okay, let's get these things unloaded. Uh, we have a full set of tires for these guys to burn. Um, Eve has never driven here. Josh has driven here. Uh, Josh struggled a little bit last time when we were here at Irwindale. He was struggling getting up on the top of the bank. Then the transmission had problems, so he missed some practice. We got him back out there. He went to competition. It was a little bit tough. It was tough for him, for sure. So I think this is a nice time for redemption. But he's driving great, and I think that after yesterday, Eve is going to be able to throw it up on the high line right away. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll take some laps. I'm going to try to get some in-car, finally. I haven't gotten in-car this whole time, so I'm going to get some in-car of them two driving. And then if I drive it, I'll do something as well, too. So, uh, yeah, exciting times. Let's get these things out of the trailer, boys.
Okay. I think we're at the point where I'm going to put the GoPro in Eve's car um, and see what he does. He says he's feeling a little bit better. I went over a couple of tips with him, how to manage the angle up around the bank because he was kind of dropping low right in the center, which is the hardest part here at Irwindale, and then try to give him a little bit of courage coming into the inner bank because he's not committing yet. But, I mean, I get it. It's your first couple laps. It's hard to commit. So, welcome to his office. <laughs> update retainer cracked cracked on Eve's car so that means that one is parked and done uh, Josh's car we have his tires on that he's gonna be running for the year the next in so he's finally starting to turn it up we're getting pressures dialed in he's warmed up he's real warm to be honest I mean look <laughs> grazer his taillight was on the wall Shoo, what a f***ing madman. All right, I'm going to put this thing in the in car so you can watch Josh for a little bit. And maybe you guys can compare the two driving styles. <laughs>
All right. You got it. <laughs> I got it. You went through the whole Irwindale before <laughs> without getting it on the main bank, and we, we found it. But you know what? I'm proud of him because he was running high, he was running hard, and he didn't wussy out. He stayed in it and saved the car, honestly, because it's not too bad. Not too bad. So not I'll give bad, you that. Yeah. I'll give you that. It, um, one of the little tabs on the subframe there, and then on the front, cross member two, it bent the bolt. So, not the end of the world, but we do have our work cut out for us with fixing the valve train on that car and then the subframe suspension on this. But uh, you know what? I'm really proud of you guys. You guys Thank drove you. hard, definitely. Big improvements from the first day to now, so that's all I can ask for. The team killed it, you boys killed it. I would like to say thank you to you guys, <laughs> because you did an awesome job. It was like three, three days of hard driving and having fun, and uh, we, we can't wait to be back. Good, so we'll come back strong for Atlanta, so thank for you guys. Sure. Boom, boom, let's do it. All right, boys, time to get to work. Yep, load up time.